This is Greg with the National Weather Service in Spokane. Here is our last weekly weather briefing for 2015. It looks like our year will come to a close with a quiet weather pattern. For tonight into Tuesday, we will see a continuation of light snow over portions of the inland northwest. Then Wednesday through Monday, we will enter a cold and dry weather pattern. Strong high pressure is expected to bring an inversion to our region. We will likely see conditions like the one on this picture with sunny conditions in the mountains and low clouds in the lowlands. Here's our snow forecast for tonight into Tuesday. The areas shaded in the light blue like Coeur d'Alene, Pullman and Sandpoint will have the chance for additional snow accumulations up to an inch. The mountains of Shoshone County could get two inches or more over the next 24 hours. Our threat of light snow is expected to come to an end Tuesday or Tuesday night as seen on this seven day forecast for Spokane. Beginning Wednesday, a cold and dry pattern is expected to develop under strong high pressure. Low clouds and fog often occur during these patterns. Our confidence is high that temperatures will be at or below average most of the week. We are also pretty confident that we won't see much significant precipitation from Wednesday through Monday. However, high pressure brings inversions this time of year. Inversions give us problems forecasting fog and temperatures. Our temperatures could be warmer or colder than you see on this graphic depending on where and when fog or low clouds develop. The 8 to 14 day outlook issued by the Climate Prediction Center calls for below average temperatures for January 5th through 11th. The CPC is quite confident that this time period will be drier than average over the Pacific Northwest and much of the northern tier of the United States. Note the very wet signal from Southern California to Texas. This wet storm track in the southwestern United States is very typical of El Nino. December was a very good month for building mountain snowpack in the western United States. This map produced by the NRCS shows the Idaho Panhandle and northwest Montana close to 100 percent for snow water equivalent <clears throat> or the water contained in the mountain snow. Our Cascades fared even better in December with our SWE amounts between 125 and 150 percent of normal for late December. This line graph shows the SWE at Lost Lake Snowtel at 6100 feet in southern Shoshone County in the Idaho Panhandle. The red line is the average SWE for this site through the year. And the blue tray shows where we are for this season. Heavy snowfall in December brought our blue line close to the average. The black line is our total precipitation for the year, which is also close to average. The average precipitation for the season is the gray line. The rainy pass snow tell in the Cascades above Lake Chelan shows above average SWE and precipitation in the Cascades. This is good news following last year's terrible snowpack. However, we are still early in the season and many El Nino winters produce prolonged dry periods in January, February, and March. The latest drought monitor issued last week is on the left. It shows considerable improvement for the drought over western and central Washington compared to the graphic on the right, which was issued three months ago. Much of the Idaho Panhandle and eastern Washington have also experienced improvement in November and December, but remain under the moderate to severe drought classification due to months of below average precipitation. In summary, a cold and drier pa weather pattern will develop by Wednesday and continue through early next week. High pressure will produce a strong inversion and light winds which may lead to air quality concerns. The cold weather means the snow we currently have isn't going to melt. Expect side streets to remain slick for the time being. We may also see some trees weakened by snow loading producing localized power outages since snow on the tree branches may remain there for several more days. Well, that's it for the briefings for this year. 
2015 was an active year for fires, wind storms, and December precipitation. Let's hope for more tranquil weather in 2016.